First opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. one started and we are underway from Ford Field and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On second and a couple, Rodgers. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big pickup of 38. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. down carry by Jones and inside the 20 before he's brought down 11 more on that one and another first down well there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run and let's face it it shouldn't be a surprise he's one of the better backs in the league had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Oh, Adams, what a grab. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as he's out of bounds at the two. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Dillon is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Jones. 
And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Aaron Jones with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he tries to get as much as he can here while protecting the football as he dives to the ground. throwing here to start the drive escaping the pressure right well, he's going to take a shot right away and that will be incomplete would have been a big hitter if they had connected instead it's second down defensively here you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL so when they're that high powered you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number 20 point score gives yourself you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Now this one complete downfield on the left side, and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. going to take another timeout and that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter they're down to one remaining throw now on first down and his throw here's incomplete so Charles we have reached the end here of a long season week 18 which we don't say very often although this is not the first week 18 that the NFL has ever seen not at all and Brandon some of the people might be a little bit too young to remember but back in 1993 the league experimented with giving teams two open weeks for the year and we also saw week 18 when the league was on pause for a few weeks in 2001 following the attacks on September 11th. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll look to throw. And now this one may draw a penalty. He just blindly threw that one to the sideline. And yep, indeed, the flag is out. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter.
They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And my goodness, they're now out of timeouts here in this first quarter. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He'll look to throw. And that is caught. It's Ridley. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. Here's Mostert. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's bound the end zone plenty of times. No way. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Raheem Mostert with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point right down the middle. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Even though they might not find the number one seed next to their name come playoff time, there's not going to be very many teams, if any, entering the playoffs on the kind of run they're on. They're hot. And I love that word, hot, because every team in the league wants to go into the playoffs on that uptick. Because a lot of the time, you sort of notice to the rest of the league that, hey, we're the team you need to deal with. You're, we're the team that's going to be a real problem for you. And if they can continue this streak, they can very well be that team and gain that confidence that they're seeking as they head to the playoffs. And confidence, that's the word I would use from our meetings with them. They said we're playing our best football right now. It is showing. Rodgers will try again on second down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off at the 40s. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And I think they are going to get this one back. Well, that would have been something. Double turnovers. But instead, they'll keep the possession on the INT. These two teams all tied after one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Yeah, he'll find Hall. 
And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Second and five. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. On first down, Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Here's second and ten. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Open man left side, it's the tight end, Tunyon. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. <laughs> Rogers looking to throw on third and two. He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And this is caught inside the five. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25 yard line.
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Second and 10. Looking to throw. He's going to go up top again. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Jones running on first down, but finding it pretty tough going as he'll get forward for only about three there before he's taken down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Will Harris. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Point after here coming up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all at 9 up and 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Rodgers on third down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. 
This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. Well, when you start thinking of guys that are in the mix for Defensive Player of the Year, I think you use him as Exhibit A. Maybe he's not the leading guy right now, but he's at least on the periphery and deserves to be in the discussion. And because of that, he's looking at a game today where in order to make that big move and maybe become the guy, he needs multiple takeaways, multiple big plays, things that get our attention and reverberate for weeks. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Packers are going to get it back here just past the 35. Three first half interceptions now. And Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be because essentially he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him. But still, three interceptions, that puts the entire team in jeopardy. So the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. Now Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A well-executed 22-yard game. <laughs> Throwing now is Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. to throw on second and ten. Rodgers got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A good looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. zone now they'll look to throw and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage the improv on the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down partner he was going through his progressions not there not there after about the third one he decided he better pull it down and run for it and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got him in. Open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. 
So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. offense ready to kick off their next drive they do trail but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it and that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game no but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline so after the run for no gain here's second and ten Now back to throw. He's got a man complete. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route? Because it's a little bit longer developing play. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will tie our game here in the third. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Now Rodgers. 
He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Now Rodgers. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Throw again on second down. Rodgers. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. To throw, it's Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 12. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Josh Allen able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Throwing on second and long. Rodgers. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Rodgers. 
Looking deep for Adams. It got his man complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Jones had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing is Rodgers. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. Every penalty so critical at this stage of the game is now they've got it third and long. going to throw and he comes back with one complete and he can only manage to get this to the 45 yard line well short of the first it'll be a gain of eight but it also lead to a fourth down Got to have this one. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 30 on second down, Rodgers. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And it's complete to Adams. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Jones. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Right. 
shotgun now for Rodgers. Polluting the pressure right to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense, but when you add to it that you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter, get feel pretty good as a defense. now on third and goal and it's intercepted at the goal line able to get there and pick it and the Lions have just about sewn up this football game fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back the Detroit offense ready to begin their drive And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Lions look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14 is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? Here's a diving catch right side. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Rodgers now to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. To throw is Rodgers. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Rodgers to throw once more. Pass complete, it's Adams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. 
That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Rodgers again now. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Lions are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it, and that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's got a man put a stamp on me in the locker room. Complete. I just a little. Touchdown, Detroit! A big play there. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Lions are on their way to a 13th win on the year as they add on to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And Shark calls it in. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. Here's Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe you want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. To throw again on second down, Rodgers. Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. One final try now for Rodgers. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Lions, a victory in Week 18 gives him a final mark of 13 up and four down. And now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for the Packers, 
They fall for just the fourth time all season as they will finish 13 and four. And as division champs, they will host a playoff game next week in the wild card round. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.